Hello today! And today we're going to have a game of Motorbike Madness on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Now this is a game I had back in the day on the Amstrad CBC464. It's okay, it was quite a difficult game to play actually. It's a 3D isometric sort of off-road scrambling type game where you go over courses and stuff. Think Kickstart 2 or Kickstart but 3D, I guess. <laughs> Why I could ex explain this game. Um, right. Okay, so let's redefine the keys. Q A O P space. Right, so if I to start, stop, wait, stop the tape. Okay, what all that's about, I don't know. Right, here we go. Oh, what? Oh, don't tell me. It's gonna. I've got a bad feeling about this. Jump over that. Whee! Ooh! Oh, fuck it! I will send you back to the beginning again! Didn't do that on the CPC version. Sorry, it didn't do that on the CPC version. You fall off your bike, you just carried on. Where you crashed off. That's shit. You gotta start all the way from the beginning again. No, that loses points. That loses points immediately. Got to start all the way from the beginning. That's like the Commodore 64 version. Oh, fuck. Oh, fucking hell. What? No, don't like this version. Don't like it. Why fucking start all the way from the beginning again? That is shit. That is shit. Start. Why is it? Why is it a multi-load? Why is this a multi-load? I don't get this. I don't get it. This should not be a multi-load. Fucking reload it. That. What the fuck? This should not be a multi load. I don't get it. This. This. I don't like this version. So if you fall off your bike, you're going to have to... Oh, it's going up here. Well, okay. Oh. Plays differently from... It plays similar to the Amiga version, but the Amiga version doesn't send you all the way back. Oh, fuck. It's going to send me all the way back, isn't it? No. Is it? No, it hasn't. So it's got little checkpoints. But why? Why has it got checkpoints? Whoa. Slow down. And you are on the clock as well. Oh, come on, you can go across that. Alright, it's better than the Commodore 64 version. So there are checkpoints somewhere. Oh, oh, fucking hell.
Uh, right, down here perhaps. Right, slowly over this. Oh, fuck off! Um, uh, I'd rather play the CPC version to be honest with you. At least you don't send you back to a checkpoint. Didn't do that. You fall off the bike and you just continued with a little bit like a two second invincibility. So you didn't hit nothing. If you do, you know, you could, you're immune for about two seconds. This version, what is it with the checkpoints? Can I go across that? No, you fucking can't. And you do get bike damage as well. What? No, I'm going to a tree. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I need a run up. No, I'm not going to make it. Come on. Oh, fuck off. I don't want to play this no more. I don't particularly like it. I'd say it's no way as worse as the Commodore 64 version. But if I'm going to play an 8-bit version, I'd much rather play the CPC version. Even that was a bit tricky, but... It doesn't send you back to a checkpoint. You just fall off the bike and you continue on the CPC version and the Amiga version. This takes you back to a checkpoint, but the Commodore 64 version took you right back to the beginning each time. Nah, why? Why? Nah, I don't, I don't particularly like this version. Nah. Graphics look alright, but no, an isometric um, motorbike game. You know, I'm not a big fan of isometric games, but I find this very tricky to play. Anyway, going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.